The laser-induced flow enhancement procedure, or LIFE procedure, is a simple and effective process performed on men with BPH. The procedure incorporates BioLitex Evolve 150 Watt laser system and fusion fiber. In this procedure, the patient has a prosthetic obstruction, mostly from enlarged lateral lobes. The fiber is introduced and the procedure begins at the bladder neck. The red aiming beam is visible. The fusion fiber is side firing and the laser beam exits 180 degrees from the orange stripe near the distal end of the fiber. Because the Evolve laser operates at a 980 nanometer wavelength, it creates equal absorption by both water and hemoglobin. This dual selectivity means that while working at the bladder neck or middle lobe, any misfiring that does not laze the intended area will only result in energy being absorbed by the irrigation fluid. It will not injure the bladder. Proper technique is demonstrated here by having the fiber in light contact with the tissue, sweeping back and forth in a 30 to 60 degree range or one to two hours of a clock. The sweeping speed is determined by the physician, but should be at a rate that produces vaporization bubbles and ablates the tissue. Notice the precision with which vaporization occurs, the speed of tissue ablation, and the ease with which the fiber sweeps over the tissue. Tissue adhering to the fiber cap is common during a procedure. It is recommended to attempt to remove the tissue by rubbing the fiber against the bladder neck or prostate tissue. An advantage of the Evolve Life procedure is that the proper technique is easy to learn. The surgeon, in this case, uses a sweeping motion of the fiber. He may also use the familiar technique of extending and retracting the fiber, like a TURP loop. This portion of the procedure demonstrates effective ablation of the right lateral lobe. Again, good technique is demonstrated by light contact with the tissue, proper speed, and range of the sweeping motion. Brisk vaporization bubbles combined with tissue ablation confirm effective treatment. Here, the apical tissue is precisely ablated with the side firing fiber. At the end of the procedure, the prostate fossa is now well excavated with all obstructed tissue vaporized. The fragments of devascularized tissue will subsequently slough in the postoperative period without incident. A Foley catheter should be inserted at the discretion of the surgeon. Many patients have voiding trials immediately after the procedure and do not require a catheter. For those that do require a catheter, it is usually removed in 24 hours.